Netflix's international output has grown from strength to strength with each year, which has become especially apparent with their latest crop of South Korean and Japanese dramas. Following the whirlwind success of Squid Game last year, the return of another wildly popular survival series, Alice in Borderland, has sent subscribers into a frenzy after just a few days of being released. Alice in Borderland's second season has set a new record as one of Netflix's most viewed non-English series within a week. The latest installment has been viewed more than triple the number of hours as the first season upon its release in December. According to the official Golden Twitter account, which celebrates the Asian diaspora on Netflix, Season 2 recorded 61,190,000 hours watched between December 19 to 25. Meanwhile, Season 1 was also watched an impressive 18,660,000 hours within the same week. The account tweeted, Alice in Borderlands Season 2 has officially set a record for the most hours viewed in a week for a Japanese series. Many viewers took to the comments to celebrate the show reaching such an impressive milestone. At Francis Kaku replied, it deserves the spotlight to be honest. It should be the number one Netflix show. And at Lara Hannings 13 exclaimed, Let's go this is so well deserved. Sick, the series kicks off when video game obsessed outcast Arasu, played by Kendo Yamazaki, unwittingly finds himself a player in a series of deadly survival games. After beating the first round of games, Arasu and his allies must face off against the citizens of the borderland, who have become masters of the challenges. Groups known as the Kings, Queens and Jacks have all lived within the hidden underworld for years, and prove fierce adversaries for Arasu, Yusagi, Tautsuchiya, and their friends. Viewers are now eagerly anticipating a potential third season after an ambiguous ending teased a mysterious enemy based on the Joker card. Insight, Interview, Backlash However, the fate of Arasu and his allies is unknown after they woke up having no memory of their time in the borderland. Based on Hero Aso's popular manga series of the same name, the iconic thriller has also been followed up by a direct sequel and a spin-off. The TV adaptation began in 2020 and Netflix immediately felt the demand for a second season. High viewership in several countries outside of Japan meant the streamer quickly confirmed a follow-up just two weeks after its premiere. However, it's still unknown whether another announcement will be made in the coming days. Still, it's obvious Alice in Borderland has struck a chord, both internationally and with Japanese viewers, so fans shouldn't have to worry about the series ending just yet. It has now joined the likes of Squid Game, Money Heist and All of Us Are Dead as Netflix's biggest non-English hits. Alice in Borderland Seasons 1-2 are available to stream on Netflix.